YouTube, welcome to my Diablo 3 glass cannon and wizard build. This build does require some form of a tank alongside your build. Uh, you can use your Templar if you don't play with your friends. However, if you play with your friends, you can use a Crusader or a Barbarian. Anyway, let's go into the skills. When it comes to skills, I use as my prime skill based attack magic missiles with conflagrate or however you'd like to say this. However, the reason why is it allows it to pierce through enemies which can deal up to 2.5 million damage with my current build. However, I use this paired up with mirror ball and this allows me to shoot out an extra projectile. And together when facing bosses or rare packs I can deal up to 5 million damage plus a burn effect of whatever my current um, weapon damage adds up to. Um, with my right click, which is my main damaging spell, I was I will use Meteor with Comet. Um, this can deal up to 7.5 million damage, again, with my current build. However, this leaves Mist on the floor, which does 197% weapon damage as cold damage. And also, it can slow everything in that Mist by 60% for 3 seconds. This allows it very easy for your tank, for me, Michael, Barbarian, to kite and pull everything back in, meaning I can hit them again with Meteor. And it goes like that in a pattern. Um, with my defensive skill, I use Teleport with Wormhole. It is kind of now a wizard must have when it comes to getting away. Um, this allows you to get far away. Kiting, very handy. Uh, surviving, very handy if you're facing a rare pack and they're using walls or uh, some type of arcane beam or, or poison. It allows you to jump straight over the wall and get away. Straight up, handy as hell. Some people use black hole. I don't like having that because if you're stuck, then you can't move. I don't see the point of it. But when you're playing with glass cannon, you, your aim is to deal the damage, not die for someone. Um, <clears throat> that's why I use wormhole on my teleport. Now on to the three main wizard damaging buffs. Um, first off, use Familiar with Spark Flint. This gives you an extra 10% damage overall. This also gives you an orb that flies beside you, which does 179% weapon damage. Me personally, off and on crits, does about a million to 1.5 million damage. It's very nice, but it will just shoot where you're firing. It's not a free cast, it just shoots when you shoot. But it's the damage which we want. The next one we use is Magic Weapon with Force Weapon. This gives, an, this gives us an extra 20% damage. Again, not weapon damage, just damage. However, nothing special. That knockback, I have never seen work. Literally. They either need to increase it or whatever, I've never seen it work. Um, moving on. This is a defensive and damage type of buff. The reason why is... Without the, the Ruin skill, you get an extra 35% armor at the cost of 20, uh, 20 um, Arcane. Sorry. Um, however, with the Pinpoint Barrier, you get the Energy Armor, which also increases your Critical Hit Chance by 5%. And with a Wizard, we generally do use Critical Hit Chance and Critical Hit Damage. Um, these are the main four, which I would strongly advise. Um, and moving on to the passive skills. These, before I start literally are what I like. Two of them you will always use, however two of them you won't use unless you want to. As a glass cannon, one of them, as you can see, I use. Anyway, Prodigy is the first one. All of us wizards should be using this. The reason why is we don't even need to hit a target, we just need to cast this, which is with magic missile or anything along the lines of that. However, it gives us five arcane. You don't need to hit anything, otherwise it would be too overpowered. Um, the next one is Power Hungry. The reason why I use this one is because I always get health globes. I have a tank. I get more, I seem to. I don't understand why, but I get loads of them. I can have six or seven of them without even knowing. However, this allows us to have ten free casts, or up to ten free casts. So that means I can cast Meteor ten times for free. For me, personally, that's about 75 million damage, plus, depending. Um, next, I use Unweavering or Wavering. No, I think it's Weavering. Will. Um, as a glass cannon, you can kite if you're soloing, but Michael pulls everything, so I stand still. This gives us armor, not really that fantastic. Resist, not fantastic, but 10% more damage, which is nice. Um, not really much to say about that. Just got to stand around for 1.5 seconds. Next, as a glass cannon, I generally, because I have so much intelligence, I at one point had 1800 to 1900 all resist. That's with everything. So I thought, what's the point? 
So I went and got 15% extra damage, which is very nice. Decreases your armor by 10% and your resists, all of them, by 10%. Mm. If you have that, spare it because it's 15%. If you can't, don't, because you will die. You can go to other stuff, but for me, survival is on and off. I get a lot of uh, life from Michael, so yes. Um, moving to gear now. Right, let's go to the top of the tree, the helmet. Before I start looking at anything, I'll always make sure it has at least 5% critical hit chance. As a wizard, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, straight away, part of your build. So you should always go for that. Um, your main stat is intelligence, however, because it is based off your weapon damage that I think, actually. So we'll always look at those two with a helmet, though. Um, vitality, strongly recommend you always look at with um, after looking at those two. The socket is and isn't that important. It is if you want extra, say, cooldown, but for this build, it's not. So don't even go for it. It's not that special. Um, the cost, however, if there's a, a cost reduction, that is actually quite beneficial, so keep that in mind. However, the extra 20% life, it just gives you that extra little bit of hit if you do get hit. Um, moving to the chest, you should always look at free sockets before you even care about anything. If you can reforge something into free sockets, it's a good chest if it has nice stats anyway. However, this should have always all resist, intelligence, and vitality. Straight away. Um, your belt. Problem is, the Witch Hour, I have not seen a level 71, so I stuck the level 61, but I can't really tell you much about the belt. I like this one just because it has a critical hit damage, the attack speed, the other stuff I don't really care about. I just like those two. Someone might argue that the intelligence is better because the attack speed was apparently a complete lie with DPS, but it depends what you really look at. Legs always look at two sockets. Again, it's exactly the same with chest, but instead of three sockets, you've got two sockets. So not really much to say about that. Boots, on the other hand, exactly the same, but no sockets. But run speed, so look at that one instead. So it is just still intelligence, vitality, resist, and movement speed. <coughs> Moving on, shoulders, kind of the same. However, I personally, for this build, would go for intelligence, vitality, or resist, still. However, life per second on regen, because if we get hit, we need our life. If we get hit again, and we've not got the life regen, we're pretty much screwed because our pots have a cooldown of 30 seconds. So we're going to need the, the regen. Your gloves, I will just straight up go for these stats. Um, intelligence, attack speed, critical hit damage, critical hit shit chance. Same with the rings. Unfortunately, I've got all resist on that one, and I want um, attack speed on that. But still, exactly the same intelligence, um, attack speed, critical hit damage, critical hit chance. Sword. Uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail into that one, actually. Necklace, same as rings. Um, I do need to get rid of the socket, but I can't with that necklace. I'll have to get another necklace, but still intelligence. Attack speed, critical hit, crit <laughs> critical hit damage, critical hit chance, attack speed, and... Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yes. Um, the wrists. Um, kind of the same. However... Not really to the chest. Instead of the socket and all of that, you go for the crit hit chance. So it is still intelligence, vitality, or resist critical hit chance. Um, my offhand, as I was explaining earlier, gives me extra missile. Only reason why I use this. However, I personally wanted um, when I crit, which is as you can see the, the reforge one. <coughs> every time I crit, I get four arcane back, so that helps with regeneration. Because I crit a lot. So I always want it back. However, of course, you, sh you should always go for the damage, the intelligence, the critical hit chance, the cool... No, the, not the cooldown, my problem, uh, my bad. Um, if you can get a socket instead of that, then that's nice, because yes. And I personally would say for this build, go for the um, crit um, grants back. It used to be double the amount, so you used to be able to get eight, but now we get four, which sucks. <coughs> With the sword. Um, this sword isn't fantastic, but... It's the best I can get. <clears throat> However, I went personally for the 9% weapon damage. It used to be ridiculous though, but now it's not. Because <clears throat> most of our skills base damage off weapon damage. So if we've got something like 2k, which is my last one, I lost a lot of damage. One minute. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's me clearing my throat. 
Um, however, of course, you need intelligence on there, and I would always suggest the socket because it's 120. I think you get 135 percent crit hit damage. So that's with that with the weapon. So you want high amounts of damage, um, intelligence always, um, and a socket always, straight up. Um, into the paragon levels. Um, I personally would say because we lose um, 20 from the arcane. Um, Energy shield, energy shield. My bad. Um, I would say go with the maximum arcane because it is almost twenty, so we're almost counteracting that. Some would, some people would say intelligence, but I looked and it doesn't give us that much, like eight thousand damage, which isn't really worth it. So that's what I would say. <clears throat> with offense, of course, create damage because we need create damage. Defense. I go for life regen. Some people might go for life armor or resist. I have loads of all resist. I don't really care about those two. I need life regen. Everyone should just go life regen. If you get hit, you need to regenerate it. It's life on hit doesn't really work anymore. Um, Michael would say the same thing. It just sucks. So I go for life per second. Um, utilities again area damage because we're using meteor, so we want more and more damage. Um, and I think that has come to the end of this wizard build. Um, I guess all I can say, guys, is thanks for watching. I hope the build is actually good for you. If it's not, well, build around it. Because most of you play solo, so I'm not saying it's 100%, but don't forget I do play with a tank, which counteracts a lot of my damage. But anyway, if you like it, rate, subscribe, like. If you don't, well, I guess all I can say is thumbs down. <laughs> but anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye.